Thank you. All right, we have story time, I guess, with uh, a bunch of good stuff for props. Why you coming up? A lot of you today. Nice having you here. Yes. Think I can get up and around. I was seven years old, second grade. That was a long time ago. Any of you seven? Seemed like one. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. Just, I'm just, you're, I was shorter than you. Uh, <laughs> even when you're sitting down, I think it was still short. I was small for my age, which is one of my problems back then, was that my older brother was quite a bit taller. He was tall for his age. So was my little brother tall for his age. And so we were quite poor. And so when he outgrew his coat, then it went to my little brother. And so going to school, I, my, Outfit was Levi's, white T-shirt, and shoes. And uh, and the Levi's were, so they were expected to last me all year long. And I had several T-shirts, and my shoes were supposed to last all year long. So I went to school with cardboard in them at, 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 toward the end of the year because that way I wouldn't wear my socks out. You know, from being on the ground because I had holes in the shoes. But our, my, I love my second grade teacher. Her name was Miss Bonnie. She was from England. I still like that accent. And, uh, but she would watch out for me that when I had to walk, I think it was three miles to school and three miles home every day, uphill both ways. Because we had to walk down through a valley. So no matter what, you're going uphill you know, part of the way. Uh, but uh, she would watch out for me and that if it was snowing out or raining really hard, she would send somebody over to the principal's office and he would grab something from lost and found so I'd have a coat. And, uh, and then I had to return it to lost and found the next morning, but I'd have a, have a well, usually a sweater, or a long sleeve shirt or something, you know, to help protect me against the cold. Well, then she was talking about climate change. And I went home that day and I was in tears because we're all going to freeze to death in the coming ice age. And her, she got her information from a research organization in England. I think the same or research organization that has, now has global warming. Uh, but we had ice age coming. And so I was, you know, and part of the walk went through big fields where sometimes they had greenhouses. And I remember when it was really cold, I'd run into a greenhouse and get warmed up a little bit and then run to the next greenhouse, get warmed up, and then try to get on home. Uh, but I went and I was telling my parents, we need to get a greenhouse or we're all going to starve to death. And I go, and they go, no, 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 God's in charge. They were right, you know, God is in charge. And so what I thought I might do is I'm going to, I, I looked it up and I'm, I don't know if I need to pull this thing up. That's about the right height. So what I thought I'd do is I was going to show everyone kind of where global warming is coming from. 
Now, in 1961, that tells you how old I was, uh, the average temperature at that time, well, wait a minute, what do you think the average temperature is for the whole globe? From Antarctica to the Arctic, land, everything, what do you think the average temperature is? 72? So we'll, we'll put that right here, because this is a, I'm going to use one inch per degree. Okay, 72. Anybody else have a, have a guess? Yes? 50. 50. You're going to get us cold here. Okay, that's, that's here. There's 72. Any other guesses? Yes? 30. Ooh, that would be chilly. We'd have ice cubes. We'd have ice cream all of the time. Just ice cream. Anytime you wanted it, we would have ice cream. That, that actually sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Okay. What, what's, your, what's your guess? 60. 60. Put that right here. Okay. So we'll go 30 to 72. 72 sounds like a pretty good temperature. Sounds like it should be right, huh? Well, actually, anytime you hear stuff, people on the in the news stating the temperature and it's you know two degrees above normal or five degrees above normal or ten degrees. Oh, by the way, uh, the hottest temperature ever recorded was recorded. Uh, yeah. Uh, recorded in July of 1913. So that was the hottest temperature. Uh, I'm about two and a half feet short. It would be right up against the ceiling at 134 degrees in Furnace Creek, just outside Death Valley, California. So I'm, so that's, and I'd say I don't even have this. You know, I'm going to go down to zero temperature here. I don't have anything under uh, that in Fahrenheit. But yeah, to go clear up almost to the ceiling. The coldest temperature was in 1983 in Biscoff Station, Soviet Union, 128.56 degrees below zero. So it would be taller than that, the other way. The wrong way. The wrong way, yes. <laughs> so that, that's really cold. You can, you can have a, like a five gallon bucket of boiling water and pour it out as fast as you can. Just flip it upside down right here and it would be frozen before it hit the ground. Mm -hmm. That's cold. That's too cold even to eat ice cream. So and they began taking records in 1880, so that was a long time ago too. But in, whoops, I lost my, I didn't write it down. I believe that the average temperature in 1961, if I, oh wait, I did, I did, it was right here at 57 degrees. That's that was the average annual temperature. Well, actually, it was a little bit, excuse me, it was a little over that, actually. It was 0 0.6 degrees, oh, excuse me, excuse me, 58 degrees, close enough, 58 degrees. And so that's the average temperature. Well, we have the hottest way up there, the coldest way down into the basement, which we don't have here. Uh, the average annual temperature is 57 degrees. That's it, 57. And the normal high of that is, whoops, where, where'd I go here? The normal high of that is, uh, there we are less than two degrees more than that. So when they say, we're the hottest on record, <coughs> since record's been keeping, 
which they say was uh, 2016, we were one and a half degrees Fahrenheit over that 57 degrees. The coldest in 1904 was less than one degree under that. All these big graphs you see, where the temperature is spiking way up here high, less than two degrees. And all the low temperatures, which they don't show, less than one degree. God has it. God has it under control. There is only one thing, one year that was way out, and that was in 1997. Al Gore put it in official records that it was 62.45 degrees because he wanted to make his little, uh, his little talk sound credible. And so he jacked the price, the, excuse me, he jacked the price too. He, he jacked the, the temperature up officially through NOAA, you know, the National Atmospheric thing. Uh, he, he jacked up to 62 and a half degrees from 57. So when people, they start panicking about this, and, and you'll hear it through your schooling that you're starting next week. You're going to hear about global warming and stuff. Remember, two degrees is, is anything more than two degrees is outside the normal. It doesn't get there. So, and actually another couple of degrees would actually make the crops grow better and we'd actually have more food instead of less food. So, anyway, that, that is my thing. Just remember, that the main thing to remember is, that in fact, uh, G, uh, God talked to Job about it. He, he goes, I know where the oceans are, the limits of the oceans, the weather. I know where the clouds start. I know where the hail starts. I know where the, the snow starts. He knows all of this stuff, and he has it under control. Because you know what? He created the earth, and he made it so that, we'll, so that it will take care of us, because he loves us. I don't want you to forget that. Let's have a little short prayer. Dear Jesus, I want to thank you for taking care of us, giving us this wonderful world where right now here in Florida it's really hot and humid, but other places they're freezing because we know that the average temperature is what it's always been. There's always been times when in different areas of the earth there's problems with the weather, but I want to thank you that you have it all under control and it's all for our blessing, for our wisdom and our knowledge that you show us your grace and your love. For Jesus' sake, amen. amen.